So a broadcasting legend has passed away, but he will never, ever be forgotten. Don Adams, I'm hearing that this legend of the business that I have spent my entire life in has passed away. He was committed to the hospital on Christmas Eve, and it's sad. His children, six of them, his wife of 25 years, Deidre, will sadly miss this man of the airwaves, who really became the friend of millions. You know, I first started hearing about Don Amos when my brother-in-law lived in Ohio. He told me about this guy who just had an incredible ability to communicate. And then, of course, hey, my mother actually loved when he was simulcasting on MSNBC, and she could not wait to get a cup of coffee and listen to the I-Man. And for those years, Fox Business, he understood why business was important in America, and he never stepped away from speaking his mind. But he had that ability to tell you about a good book. He could write one too. But the thing that I will always remember about Don Imus and that 10-gallon cowboy hat, he always rode tall in the saddle and spoke what he believed to be the greater good. I will miss him, and I've missed him ever since he left the airwaves. But know this, he had a big effect on my career and a lot of other people who make their living behind a microphone as well. Broadcasting Hall of Fame, a number of awards. But the best thing about Don Amos that I will always remember is the love of his wife, and yes, his children, and the love of this country. Don Amos has died at the age of 79. Simply put, they broke the mold when they made the Iron Man.